we've learned to recognize different micro expressions in body language. And now we go deeper. It's not only about what you see, it's about what you do about it. It's like driving a car, yeah? So now you know how to drive your car and it's time for a GPS. Because you never do arounds, you know, without destination point. Probably you know where are you heading. And what is also important that the, the way is never straight, yeah? If you want to go to the supermarket, normally you need to, for example, it's a new place, yeah? You need a GPS and you need to go sometimes to the left, sometimes to the right, and sometimes you get stuck in the traffic, you have some traffic lights, and then finally you reach your destination. So the way is never straight. Unless for birds, but let's assume in this case you're not a bird. <laughs> so with the blink conversation technique is the same. You check different hypotheses, different assumptions. So you go a little bit to the left with the assumption, you go a little bit to the right with the assumption, and finally you get there. And the GPS is your goal, the goal of the conversation. What would you like to know about a person? This is the goal. And the strategy, the GPS, is the blink conversation technique. What we're going to be exercising right now is the superpower of precognition, reading minds. And you will be exercising exactly the same thing what we're doing now with people on Saturday and on Sunday. With unknown people, people who you don't know, who don't know you, with strangers. And you will be able to surprise them and exercise your body language and micro expression skills on them without them even knowing it. What we're going to do here, you don't need to talk at all for this exercise. The less you talk, the better. Just be yourself, right? <laughs> Just be yourself, neutral face in the beginning. And then when we, when I talk, when you hear something, just feel free to respond, react naturally. Maybe the persons here are curious where you like to go on holiday. And some persons, they like to go to the beach, to the sun where it's nice and warm. They hear the waves and they can relax and then just be on the beach in a very relaxed way on their towel, a little bit of sun and um, yeah, just to replenish themselves. You know, some people like this kind of atmosphere. Other persons, they prefer to go to the mountains where there are beautiful, nice peaks and a little bit of snow sometimes. Could be a bit cold where they get into the sleeping bag at night and it starts to get cold and that's why a nice fireplace would be good to have a little bit of warmth. However, during the day, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to hike. It's beautiful to see the great scenery there and then to have some activity on the way. And then again, other persons, they prefer to go to a city trip. Go to the city where there is some culture and they walk through little small streets where it's really nice to see how people live in this new culture and experience the city life or uh, to visit some new places that give them new inspiration. And then, you know, maybe it's rather something for you. you maybe you prefer everything <laughs> together, right? <laughs> the old things are really nice. And as long as it's holiday and, and you're relaxed and, and you can do what you want. And now the task is for the other persons to give the answer, what are your preferences? <laughs> so shall we find out that? Sure. The blink conversation technique is amazing to find out secrets from anybody. Because there is a lot of things that your client, potential customer, doesn't want to talk about. Whether they like your price or not, they will try to negotiate hard. Whether they like your product really or not, whether they will buy it or not, whether they are really interested or not, and these kind of things, you will never really find out if you just focus on the words. However, if you use the blink conversation technique, if you use the superpower of precognition, you can find out just about anything that you want just by making statements and looking at the reactions 
on those statements. So now the question for you is, how good have you been able to observe Didi's nonverbal communication? And what do you think her preferences are? So let's vote. We spoke about holidays. Who of you thinks that Didi would like to go on holiday to the beach where there is a lot of sun? All right, good. Who thinks that Didi would like to go to the mountains? Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, all right. And who thinks that Didi likes to go on a city trip? Mm. Mm. <laughs> and who thinks that she just likes, you know, everything of those things? That's also an option, right? My favorite holiday is to go up on the mountains and s with lots of snow mm -hmm. and skiing and be bundled up in lots of jackets, scarves and hats. That's my favorite, favorite vacation. My worst vacation is just going on the beach and lying down doing nothing. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Huh? City I like to. I absolutely love to learn culture and go see the sights. Cool. Let's have a look together at a few pieces from the conversation with Didi and what her reactions were at crucial moments during me using Blink. Let's have a look at her first reaction when we talk about the beach. The beach, to the sun where it's nice and warm, they hear the waves. Do you see her reaction? So her first reaction to the beach is this her chin going upwards. This is not a good sign. This is disapproval, sadness. So that's why she does not have a preference for the beach. She does show a small smile later on, but her first initial reaction is sadness on the beach. That's why she doesn't like to go to the beach on holiday. When we compare this to me speaking about the mountains, we see this could be a bit cold where they get into the sleeping bag at night and it starts to get cold and that's why a night. Nice and also we see this. However, during the day it's beautiful. It's beautiful to hike, it's beautiful to see the... So this is a confirmation that she does like the mountains. Why and how? Well, when we're speaking about the cold, it doesn't seem that she minds it. She actually is smiling and nodding. She's confirming that it's, it's fine, it's okay. When we speak about it's beautiful in the mountains, we see a huge smile and nodding again. When we compare this to what we saw before, this reaction on the beach, it's very clear that this one wins, which is the mountains. So definitely Didi prefers to go to the mountains and here you just saw why. So you can apply this in daily life with your partner, with your friends, but mainly also in business conversations when you're trying to negotiate a contract with distributors, when you're pitching investors, when you're speaking on stage, you can do it with other persons on stage or even with the whole public to see if you're going in the right direction. 